the inventory write-off transaction is used to reduce the available stock in an existing stock point. Once to reach it, we use the inventory menu and then we click on the inventory write-off. If we wish to write off part or all of a handling unit, we will enter the handling unit in the reference ID field. This then displays the quantity that is currently available and allows us to enter how many we wish to take out. We can either take out a proportion of the quantity or the entire handling unit. In this case, I've just taken out a proportion. So now if we look at it, there are only 30 left. If I want to, I can take out the remainder and this will close that handling unit down. So that handling unit no longer has any stock and is not available. I can also write off stock at an individual item level. In this case, I'll scan in the item number and the location and specify how many I'm writing off. In this case, I'm going to write off 10. If the item is lock controlled, then as well as scanning in the location, I need to specify which lot I'm removing the inventory from. In this case, it's also date controlled item, so I need to have the date of it and I'll specify how many I'm taking out of that lot. The item is serial controlled. then I can either specify a single serial here, or if I want to remove multiple serials, I will enter the number I wish to remove and then scan in the individual serials. So I would scan in the serial numbers that I'm removing. And the inventory will be accordingly adjusted.